फाइव सेकेंड्स फ्रॉम नाउ द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वेदर इट इज नेसेसरी दैट द लेजिस्लेचर शुड मेक लॉ यूनिफॉर्मली एप्लीकेबल टू ऑल रिलीजियस और चैरिटेबल और पब्लिक इंस्टीट्यूशंस एंड एंडाउमेंट्स एस्टेब्लिश और मेनटेन बाई पीपल प्रोफेसिंग ऑल रिलीजन्स इन अ प्लूरलिस्ट सोसाइटी लाइक इंडिया इन विच पीपल हैव फेथ इन दियर रिस्पेक्टिव रिलीजन्स बिलीव्स और टेनेट्स प्रोपाउंडेड बाई डिफरेंट रिलीजियस और दियर ऑफ शूट्स द फाउंडिंग फादर्स वाइल मेकिंग द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वर कन्फ्रंटेड विद प्रॉब्लम्स टू यूनिफाई एंड इंटीग्रेट पीपल ऑफ इंडिया प्रोफेसिंग डिफरेंट रिलीजियस फेथ्स बॉर्न इन डिफरेंट कास्ट सेक्स और सब सेक्शंस इन द सोसाइटी स्पीकिंग डिफरेंट लैंग्वेजेस एंड डायलैक्ट्स इन डिफरेंट रिलीजन्स एंड प्रोवाइडेड अ सेक्युलर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन टू इंटीग्रेट ऑल सेक्शंस of the society as a united bharat the directive principles of the constitution themselves visualize diversity and attempted to foster uniformity among people of different faiths a uniform law though is highly desirable enactment thereof in one go perhaps may be counterproductive to unity and integrity of the nation in a democracy governed by rule of law gradual progressive change and order should be brought about making law or amendment to a law is a slow process and the legislature attempts to remedy where the need is felt most acute it would therefore be inexpedient and incorrect to think that all laws have to be made uniformly applicable to all people in one go the mischief or defect which is most acute can be remedied by process of law at stages we are not impressed by the arguments to accept the contention that the law declared in sarla mudgal's case cannot be applied to persons who have solemnized marriages in violation of the mandate of law prior to the date of judgment this court had not laid down any new law but only interpreted the existing law which is in force it is settled principle that the interpretation of a provision of law relates back to the date of the law itself and cannot be perspective from the date of the judgment because considerably the court does not legislate but only give an interpretation to an existing law we do not agree with the arguments that the second marriage by a convert male muslim has been made offense only by judicial pronouncement the judgment has only interpreted the existing law after taking into consideration various aspects argued at length before the bench which pronounced the judgment the review petition alleging violation of article 20 of the constitution is without any substance and is liable to be dismissed on this ground alone in the light of the legal position as enumerated here in above let us examine the grievances of the petitioners in the instant case in review petition the notice issued was limited to the question of article 20 of the constitution it was contended that the judgment of the court entailed a convert to islam the liability of prosecution for the offence of bigamy under section 494 of the indian penal code which would otherwise not be an offence under the law applicable to him stop hello aspirants please subscribe to my channel to get all the dictations of the latest judgments of high courts and supreme court thank you